We are counting down to Jeff Bezos Blue Origin launch this morning. Right now we are about two hours away from the launch. Just at 8 a.m. Jeffrey Bezos, his brother and two others will launch from outside Van Horn, Texas, and that's where our Xavier Walton is joining us live this morning. Xavier, we feel it here, but can you feel the excitement in the air? Oh, Kim, absolutely. You can feel the excitement. I was listening to Sheeta earlier. She just said it's about 70 degrees, cool and crisp. And to be honest, behind the camera, there's a line of cars. I think those people slept there right here on Highway 54. Meantime, the launch site is just over my left shoulder. You can see the lights kind of glimmering off in the distance. Van Horn, the town that everybody is talking about, is 25 miles that away, which is about eight and a half hours, give or take, depends on who is driving away from Houston, Texas. Regardless, though, the entire world is going to be watching this historic launch. Unlike previous commercial space missions, there won't be any experienced astronauts, engineers, or test pilots on New Shepard when it lifts off. This mission is entirely automated, meaning the rocket will lift off and return to the launch site to land on its own while the crew capsule floats back to Earth on a parachute. On board, Bezos, the billionaire, along with his brother Mark and both the oldest and youngest astronauts ever. I am super excited to experience zero G and see the world from above. That's 18 year old Oliver Damon. He's a student from the Netherlands whose father won an auction seat on the second flight. His trip got bumped up when the winning donor dropped out for scheduling conflicts. I've been dreaming about this all my life. Now I've become the youngest astronaut ever. The launch is also a lifelong dream for 82 year old Wally Funk, an aerospace pioneer. She was a member of Mercury 13, the woman only space group whose space flight was canceled in 1961. Hey, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Bezos' little brother Mark will also be aboard. A millionaire in his own right, he's a former ad executive who now does nonprofit work. And the date of this launch is symbolic. Today is actually the same day, 52nd anniversary of NASA's Apollo 11 landing or moon landing, I should say. And that's not fallen on the astronauts, or I should say the new astronauts, once they go up in space here today in Van Horn, Texas. I'll send it back to you, Kim and Steph. Perfectly scheduled there, Xavier. So exciting. What a great assignment for you. We're going to check in with you in a little bit. Xavier Walton live in Van Horn for us this morning. And by the way, you can watch the launch this morning live right here on KHOU 11. And if you are running out the door, you can also stream that so you don't miss a thing. That will happen on KHOU.com and also on our KHOU 11 mobile app. Again, that is happening for you at 8 a.m.